It's time to problem solve. Okay, I'm getting some good practice in today. I'm gonna start with my name at the top. I made sure all of my letters bumped the line. And in my last name, I have one letter that hangs below. Okay, I already see some numbers to highlight. Here we go. Oh, this is a great spring problem. I saw eight flowers in the field. Three were red and the rest were yellow. How many were yellow? I'm going to think about some important numbers that I noticed. I want to highlight those. I saw eight, okay, eight flowers. We know, yes, that three of them were red. I definitely think choosing from my math strategies anchor chart, I definitely think a draw a picture is going to be the way to go for me today. That's going to be the strategy that I choose. So I know that three were red. I'm going to draw that first because that is a true fact that I already know. One, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> three were red and the rest were yellow. Hmm, I know I have eight in all, so I know that in my picture box, I shouldn't draw more than eight total. And I already have three. Hmm. Mathematicians, can you think about what your next step will be? Will you add eight and three together? Hmm, that doesn't seem right. I'm gonna reread. I saw eight flowers in the field, three were red, and the rest were yellow. Ooh, the rest. How many were yellow? Do you know what I think I might be able to do? So I'm drawing a picture, but I also think I could count on. Let's try that. It's the same strategy we use with Make It Monday when we do our Make It Monday number talks and how many more. Okay, we'll start with three and we'll count on to eight. Let's do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many fingers am I showing? Perfect, five. So I know that the rest, meaning five, were yellow. I'm gonna draw those now. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that is a funky looking flower. Five. But you know what? I'm not going to worry because I know that mathematicians don't have to have the most beautiful pictures ever. We're just being efficient and making some quick, easy pictures or using symbols to help us problem solve. I'm just kind of filling these in. Hopefully that will make them easier for you to see. If you're watching on your iPad, your laptop, or maybe your grown-ups have even done a screencast to the television. Whoa, that would be awesome. All right, so I can see I have three red and I have, ooh, how many yellow? Nice job, I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure that we have eight in all, since we saw eight flowers in the field. Let's count together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're on the right track. Next, I need to show how I solved that problem on the number line. So I'm going to label my number line. Zero, down around and give it a hat. Make a mess and go back home to 10. Ooh, that looks organized. Okay. Three were red. 
I'm going to start at the number three today and I'm going to count on till I get to the number eight. Let's count. How many hops? One, two, three, four, five. Stop! We got to the number eight. How many hops did we make? One, two, three, four, five. Great job, mathematicians. I'm so proud of you. Let's write our equation to match our picture and our number line strategies. Wow, I, you know what? I think we've used three strategies today so far. Draw a picture, use a number line, and count on with your fingers. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Three plus five equals, good, eight. Now eights are super tricky. Here's a great tip. Make an S and go back home. Nice. Let's write our equation down at the bottom. This time we get to practice writing our plus sign or our addition sign. Here we go. Three plus five down around and give it a hat equals eight. Make an S and go back home. Nice. Oh, I'm noticing odd plus an odd equals good, an even. Kindergarten mathematicians, which number from our equation is the whole or the sum? You've got it, it's the eight. That's the biggest number. Which two numbers are the add ends or the parts? You're right again, it's three and five. Way to go, mathematicians. Now it's time for you to work independently on your CGI, or Cognitively Guided Instruction, story problem for today. You can solve this same problem, or you might want to choose a different number set for a challenge. If you need to, you can turn your paper over or use a blank piece of paper if you need more room. All right, you might solve a problem with these same numbers. I saw eight flowers in the field. Three were red and the rest were yellow. How many were yellow? Here's your first choice for a bonus challenge number set. I saw 13 flowers in the field. Six were red and the rest were yellow. How many were yellow? Here is your last bonus challenge number set for this problem today. I saw 22 flowers in the field. 15 were red and the rest were yellow. How many were yellow? Have fun problem solving mathematicians. I'll see you soon. Bye.